high already. So I'm going to have a quick, um, I'm going to take the control of the camera quickly that you see behind me. And I'm going to zoom in really quickly on Jupiter's moon. So this is a camera that's in Kelowna on the roof. <clears throat> it's on the roof of, 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 of our summer house. I installed it there and you've got this beautiful view. As you can see, I can zoom, I can pan. It's really beautiful. And um, it's getting fairly dark there right now. And I just wanted to give you a very quick, um, very quick uh, view. So let's do something really crazy before it is too late. I'm just going to go up. You see that bright spot there? That's actually, actually a planet. I'm going to zoom in right now very quickly, even more as much as I can. I'm doing all this remote. There we go. And a bit more. Let's do this a little bit more even. And let me just focus a bit. And that's quite remarkable. What you see there, those that's Jupiter and the three, um, at the moment, you see three moons of Jupiter. I'm just going to blend it in so you can see which moons these are. So let's just do that very quickly. Okay, there you go. Now you should be able to see the so that's Io, Europa, and Callisto, and Ganymede is the fourth one, which we can't see at the moment. Hi, Karen. Nice to see you. So <laughs> that's just a crazy zoom in very quickly of Jupiter's moons. And it's remarkable that you can actually see this with a pan tilt zoom camera. I just have to follow. Um, let me just adjust it because the Earth's rotation is so extremely fast that I have to center it again. Let me just get it right underneath the names. There you go. So again, on the left, that's Io, the inner, inner one, then Europa, and Callisto and Ganymede is just behind Jupiter at the moment. So we can't see it at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah, that's the way it should be. That's it. That's it. Isn't that cool, Linda? Hi, Kathy, Barbara. Hi, everyone. That is very cool. So Jupiter is about 600 million kilometers away from here. That's about 400 million. <laughs> that's about 400 million uh, uh, miles away at the moment. Isn't it amazing camera? Yes. And that's all controlled from the roof. <laughs> 42 times optical zoom. And I was amazed that it's actually possible but the sky is moving so quickly that I have to readjust the camera settings right. You see the Jupiter is rising very fast at the moment. And I'm just going to zoom out. Hi, hi Kit. Nice to see you, Carrie and everyone. So it's going extremely fast. I'm just going to zoom out again so you get an idea how crazy this really is. Okay. Watch this. So there's your night. <laughs> there's Kelowna at night in the Okanagan. Can you see that? It's quite remarkable. And then we zoom in. Yes, James, that is six moons. No, it's four. Actually, at the moment, James, uh, um, get gentlemen goes, we can see three moons. Okay. Three moons. Usually you can see four. Um, so I've I've named them there from left to right. I'm going to zoom in again so you can just see them. Let's see there. Uh, before it's too late, let me just get this back in the center nicely here, like this. And let me zoom in more before it gets too late, because Jupiter is rising so quickly, I can't go above about 20 degrees. So I'm just going to go right back now. And I'm sure in some of the next days, while well, there we zoom in even more, let me focus it a bit. There we go. Now it's beautiful focus. There you go. And I'm going to bring it to the center. So Io, Europa, and 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 uh, Callisto. Callisto is the furthest one out, and that's all with the camera. Oh, there you can see that's moving a satellite. Could you see that? Isn't that beautiful, Barbara? Yeah. And of course, I can't resolve Jupiter because I would really have to bring the brightness down in order to resolve Jupiter. But the fourth one, actually, the biggest moon. 
uh, at the moment is hidden is hidden behind Jupiter. Yesterday you could see them all, but the sky wasn't. Or the, thank you very much, Barbara. That's very kind of you. And I was amazed that this was actually would be possible with this camera because we're looking at osprey nests. And at the same time at the night, we're doing astronomy. And if you like it, later when we have the moon rise, I'll give you a beautiful moon show as the moon comes up above the horizon. Uh, you're going to love it. We have to wait a little bit longer for the moon rise, about an hour. Um, and then we'll have an incredible moon rise, right? What's the zoom? It's 42 times optical zoom. Hey, gentlemen, ghost, worry, uh, you know, I'm going to show you something even more crazy. I'm going to do a digital zoom for you, gentlemen, ghost, only for you now. Special man, look at this. Watch this now. For you, I'm going to do a zoom in. Uh, and you'll think this is absolutely crazy. Um, I'm going to really zoom in now. And I just have to center it again because we are really going crazy now. So let me just get them right back in the center a little bit more down like this that should do it so there you have high high zoom of jupiter's moons isn't that crazy <laughs> the, the, the earth's rotation is so fast at the moment <laughs> i have to correct it all the time because it's moving so fast wait a second let me just correct the earth's rotation a bit and get it out of the get it out of there oh there comes a satellite just rushing by there you go. That should be much, much better. Enjoy that for a few seconds before it goes out again. Isn't that fascinating? So that's all off the camera. So that those are the three moons that are visible. The fourth one is behind Jupiter at the moment, and you cannot see it. I'm going to zoom out again because this is really too high zoom nearly because I can't keep up anymore uh, because I have to do such fast corrections um, in order to keep it in. Let me just do one last one here. Get it back in so you can enjoy it one last time. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then let me zoom out again and get this back to where it was so we can see the bit. Isn't that amazing? Yes, you get dizzy. <laughs> so so those, are, those, are, those are indeed Jupiter's moons. And it's absolutely incredible. And I'm going to do the fun part, zoom out again and show you something of the beautiful night in Kelowna, right? Because it's such a beautiful evening. And in about an hour's time, we're going to have the incredible moonrise in the east. And it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to then stop my screen and start it again. Hey, Carrie, thank you very much. I'm, I'm so glad you like it. I'm so enjoying this too. So let's just do something crazy. I'm going to zoom out. And just show you how absurd this whole thing is. I could never do this with a telescope. Okay. So I'm just going to get this very bright for you now. Just hang on a second. So I'm going to turn the night into day now. Just hang on. At the moment, it's not. Ah, there we go. I'm going to turn the night into day. Just give me a second. And then you will see how crazy this gets. Uh, let me just go back and to the configuration and get it really beautiful for you. Okay, one second. Here we go. Yes, now we turn the night back into day. And let, let me just get the writing out of the way here. One second. Let me get the writing out of the way because it's a bit distracting at the moment. Uh, where is the writing? Okay, let's get it out of the way because you've seen Jupiter's moons now. Okay, there we go. And that's and that's quite incredible. Isn't that quite a treat? So now you can see how incredibly sensitive this camera is um, at nighttime, right? I'm I'm working color with a no with no backlight whatsoever. And we're going to just have a bit of fun now. I'm going to show you what it looks like, really. So it's pitch dark. You have to imagine it's pitch dark there at the moment. Um, I'm just going to turn the sensitivity of the camera up. There's another trick I'm going to do. Just give me a second. Yes, I know how to do this. We all know this. When you're a photographer, you know these things. You know how to do this. And then noise will go down. The colors are going to get a lot better now. A lot, lot better. Uh, the noise is going right down now, and it's 
incredible what exposure we're getting now. So I'm now going to turn the camera so you can enjoy it. And we're going to look down at um, the resort. You can see the stars in the background. Look how bright this is. I have to now turn the brightness down because it's actually too bright, even at nighttime. Isn't that incredible? So I'm just, you can see that's the beautiful Lake Okanagan and we're looking towards the east at the moment, right across the lake. And I'm going to actually turn down the brightness because it's just simply too bright. <laughs> it's crazy. So let, let me just do this. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm go I know what I'm going to, I'm going to call. I'm going to do this. Wait a second. Yeah, I'm going to turn the gain down a bit. Yeah, that's better. Let's let's get this right. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Ah, and now we're going to add something even more beautiful. I'm going to uh, uh, get the, uh, the the whole thing lit up really beautiful. Let's let's get it lit up, and let's get let's get the exposure settings correct so we get it a bit higher again, and let's turn this beautiful night into daytime. Okay, there, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. That gives you beautiful colors now. Isn't that magnificent? What do you think? <laughs> and uh, that's that's a type of journey, right? So we, we get these beautiful colors. I'm just going to turn. Let me just see if I got everything correct because I've got so many settings to watch out. Yes, it's all correct now. It's all correct. Okay, let's slowly pan the camera now. So you get a view again of what this looks like here at nighttime. And then we go up, 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 up. And then we have, there you go. Do you see that? That's Jupiter there on the left. And I've just shown you the moons of Jupiter. And on the right, on the right, that's Saturn. That's Saturn on the right-hand side, right? So we've got Jupiter on the left and Saturn on the right, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful, right? So if I zoom in again, I, I don't know if it's going to be too late. I don't know if this is going to work still because Jupiter is getting very high now. Hi, yes, <laughs> um, it's getting more and more difficult for me to actually do this because my camera can only tilt to a maximum of twenty degrees. Um, yeah, that's not in focus. Wait a second. Oh, I know the thing's on autofocus. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hang on, it's on autofocus. I just have to change the focus settings. The thing is on autofocus. That is not correct. That's why we can't focus. Because the, these cameras are not that great at focusing at night. So I'm going to do it manually now. You see, where well, there's Jupiter. And it looks a bit funny at the moment, but I think you get the idea. I'm going to zoom in, try and get it back in. And there you go. You can see the three just on top. I can't get any closer anymore because Jupiter is rising so quickly. But no, Saturn's rings, uh, James, I can't, um, gun gentlemen goes, I cannot resolve Saturn's rings. I, I don't think that uh, that I have enough magnification to do Saturn Saturn's rings with this. Um, simply, but you know what? It's worth a try. I can't do it tonight because I'm too late. But it's worth a try another time, right? We're going to try another time. I'm just going to zoom out again. And let's get back to Earth now. That's from 600, 400 million uh, um, year, um, um, miles. We're going back to Earth now. And we enjoy the beautiful sight. And the moon, the moon in about one hour is rising approximately in 90 degrees east. You see these settings that it says east? I calibrated it. So that's, I'm pointing east at the moment. And I just have to look up the exact moon rise. Just give me a second. Let me just look up the, what the moon rise data is for tonight. Moon rise, Kelowna. Let's have a, have a quick look. And I will tell you when it's rising tonight. So the moon is rising at 11, oh, 8, 11 p.m., 72 degrees east, northeast. Now, that is easy. We can do that. So the time there is wrong. Hang on. Let me just, uh, the configuration is wrong. The time that's being displayed is wrong. It sometimes resets itself. So let me just correct the time there. 
what's being displayed there is not correct. Uh, uh, uh. Hopefully that fixes it. Yes, now the time is correct. So that's correct now. So the moon rise tonight is at 11. So it's in 11 minutes, the moon's going to rise. And then it's going to take another 15 to 20 minutes to rise above above the uh, above, above uh, the the uh, the hillside back there right florida bald eagles getting harassed by owls oh that's horrible <laughs> that's horrible isn't it yeah i i understand okay so let's get the let's go now to where the moonrise is going to be at 72 degrees so all i have to do now is pan the camera you see that i'm 88 so we're going to go to right there. It's about 75 degrees, three degrees. So that's where the moon uh, is going to rise, right in the center of the image, right? That's where we're going to see the moon rise in about 20 minutes. So um, I don't know if you want to last that long with me or if it's getting boring for you. Otherwise, I'll keep it running. But I can also be back. I can also be back in about half an hour you could take a break and just when the moon comes out hi cat from niagara falls very nice to see you <laughs> how come the camera turns dark to light oh my goodness you know james this is a great sub hi peter that's nice to see you thanks for the award i appreciate it we're doing a crazy nighttime thing here i've just shown jupiter's moons live and we're going to wait now for the that's for my roof camera in Kelowna which I'm remotely actually controlling now from Vancouver. And we've got this beautiful setting here. And so Jupiter is just about to high, but you can see how sensitive these, these cameras are. That's when we're looking down. I'm just going to change the focus. Just give me a second because this, this camera has so many adjustments. So one second, let me just change the focus here because the, it's a little bit out of focus. Um, I'm just going to focus in and get this very sharp for you. Let's zoom right in. You're going to go crazy now how, the, how we zoom in. And we can zoom in completely. I'm not going to zoom into anybody's... <laughs> into, into any, I'm not going to do that because it's not fair on the people. But So I'm going to respect their privacy. But um, anyway... <laughs> so we're going to zoom out again. And what we'll rather do is we'll zoom out to the other side. You love seeing the Galilean moons. Yeah. Kat, um, if you spool this back, you I'm just a little bit too late now, but a few minutes ago, we could still see Jupiter's moons. It was incredible. So what we're waiting for now is for the moon rise. Okay. So we're going to have the moon rise very soon. That, by the way, is Kelowna Airport back there. Let me show you where the airport is. I'm just going to zoom in. It's quite incredible. Pretty houses. Look, I'm zooming on the opposite side of the shore now. You see that red blinking light? That comes from the airport. That's the airport light. That's Kelowna Airport. Isn't that incredible? Look at that light. <laughs> We're right there. We're right there. That's about two, three miles away or even more. And we're zooming right into the light here. So that's Kelowna Airport. <laughs> I will watch the replay. Yes, that's good. That's good. So we can see planes land at night and we can follow them. Isn't that amazing? Ah, oh, there's a plane coming, by the way. I see something blinking there. I think that's a plane. Let me just go there as we wait for the moon to rise. Now, something was blinking. Now it's not blinking anymore. Ah, it's gone. But we'll wait. We'll see planes coming in at night. It's quite quite incredible. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's really a lot of fun. So um, James, let's talk a little bit about the yeah the ISS would be easy would be very easy with this because it's so sensitive. But let's talk a little bit about sensitivity of the camera. So. The, the, the cameras, you probably know that from your iPhone. Where's my wonderful iPhone here? Your wonderful iPhone, right? Um, the sensitivity of these cameras have increased. It's what we call CMOS technology. And they the noise level has gone down so much that we can turn up the sensitivity quite a lot. And the color sensitivity of these cameras is insane. 
it's without any backlight. And um, you could see the magnification as I, as I came into Jupiter, right? It's just incredible. So the prices have also dropped quite a lot. And it means we can do, we can turn uh, uh, night into day now very easily, right? With just very little light. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's incredible. You can go to the, the zoom in at the opposite side and um, it just needs a few photons now, a bit of light. And um, you, can, you can actually see what it is. Isn't it amazing? So, and it's a clear night. So I'm just going to wait for the moon to rise, which is going to take a little bit longer still. Let's turn down to 70. Yeah, you can see, see the slight light coming up there in the background. There's some light coming. That is going to be from the moon rise, which we should shortly, shortly have. So then, then um, yeah, then we'll have moon, moon rise and it's going to be really beautiful. So that's what we're waiting for. By the way, you can see all this, uh, a lot of famous constellations here of the stars. You see the stars are coming in beautifully. I'm just going to turn to the, to the um, south side and I will show you some, uh, you know, some, some uh, nice stars. So there is, that's Jupiter and that's Saturn. And behind that, you have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is where the center of our Milky Way is. Um, you can actually see some of the stars coming out in the background there. Um, and the Milky Way is unfortunately not bright enough here. It's not dark enough, the skies, so we would see the see. But there, that's, that's, that's Sagittarius there. Here we go. You see those stars? You should be able to see them in the center. Let me zoom in a little bit more. There you go. That's quite a few stars. That's from all from the um, constellation Sagittarius. And in that direction, we have the center of our Milky Way, actually. So it's, it's really beautiful. Um, I would be able to show you that much better from Australia, uh, you know, if it is dark enough. So you want to see where the osprey nest is right now. Is the panning motion back and forth? Do you do? Yes, I'm, I'm, no, I'm doing this. I'm controlling, I'm fully, um, Gentlemen, girls, I'm having full control over the camera. I'm doing that. Okay, I'm I'm controlling the camera live. Actually, as we, um, you know, as we speak, I'm rotating it. You see, now I'm going to go right. I'm going to go left, and you can see the coordinates. And then I can zoom in. I'll zoom in. See that? Here we go. We zoom in, and then we can focus this much better. Let's do that. I'll focus. And that's a bit of atmospheric turbulence that you're seeing there. Let's zoom in as far as we can. And then I'll refocus this. There you go. And now that's as sharp as it gets. And you can see really in the background, very faint individual stars now that have a magnitude that are much, uh, our eye wouldn't be able to pick this up anymore. The camera's picking this up live, which is quite incredible actually. And the osprey nest, by the way, is also back there. If you're wondering, hey, Christian, where's the osprey nest? I will have to do that. In order to do that, I will quickly have to turn up the sensitivity of the camera. Give me a second. And then we can see the osprey nest at night. This is very exciting. So one second. I'm going to turn up the insensitivity now. Okay, now we're turning night into day. <laughs> Watch this now, watch this now. This is incredible. So now it's super sensitive. Can you see how many stars you can see now? See that? You see so many stars now. The sensitivity is crazy. And let's see where the osprey nest is. It's pitch dark at the moment. Really, it's pitch dark. So I'm just going to turn towards the osprey nest. It's approximately here. And I'm going to try and zoom in and see how the stars are moving towards us now. Okay, I'm going to zoom in more and then we'll have to focus. You won't believe it, but we're zooming right into the osprey nest now. That's there. It's coming up. It's pitch dark. It's pitch dark. Going to zoom in more. You see something come up there? You see it come up? That's incredible. Look at that. Here comes the osprey nest. <laughs> Can you make it out? Isn't that insane? <laughs> 
<laughs> and you know, yeah, it's going to be so much fun when the Ospreys come back. We can watch them at night in pitch darkness. And that Osprey nest is actually about one and a half miles away, one to one and a half miles away from the site. Isn't that crazy? And we can see it at the moment. <laughs> I mean, this is just so insane. Um, yeah, now I'm turning it even brighter for you. So you can really see the nest. Now, of course, we got some noise now, but it's quite remarkable. Let's see if I can get even more out of this camera. I prob no, I'll probably go to the limits. I think, um, let, me, let me go to the absolute limits of this camera, okay? Let's see how crazy we can go. Now I'm going to go to the craziest setting ever and really pull out everything I can from this camera. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you could just make out, you can look at the background stars now. <laughs> you can, this is just crazy because more and more stars are appearing now. I'm just trying to refocus it a bit. Yeah, that's not bad. And let's get it a little bit clearer for you. One second. I'm just going to try and do some more adjustments. Give me a second. Oops, there's some light coming in. I don't know where that light's coming in from. Somebody's coming in with their light. Wait a second. I'm going to try and do even better than this. Give me a second. Uh, this is not very good at the moment. I'm going to get it so that you see it very clear. Let me just see how we do that. Get the colors of the web stream better. Wait a second. Uh, let's go to color. Yeah, I can do better than this. Wait a second. We can do much, much better. Wait a second. Okay, this is going to be better already. Now you see it much better. Okay, the contrast should be much better. And let's see if we can get even better than that. Now then it gets too... Yeah, I'm sort of going at the limits of what we can actually do, what is actually possible uh, with this camera. That's as good as I can get it, but that's not bad. That's not bad. You can see the Osprey nest very clearly. Uh, is, is, is still the nest not moving, frozen? Okay, hang on. Are you saying the nest is frozen? Wait a second. I'll sh let, let's see if it's frozen. Yeah, you're right. Uh, one sec. Uh, what's going on at the moment? Something is frozen. Why is it frozen? Okay, hang on, gentlemen. Ghost, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. I know what's. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. The web stream cannot follow this. So give give me a second. I will fix this. Yeah, thanks for noticing that. There are so many settings here. Uh, where are we? Pantel Zoom. Where is my web stream gone? Oh, yes, here we are. Let's go and reconnect. Okay, come on. Where are you? Okay, now I've lost it somewhere. One second. Let me fix that. Isn't that exciting? I mean, this is the exciting thing about um, HAPS because this is all happening in real time. And I now have to have the challenge to show this and bring this life back to you again, which I hope I can do. Give me a sec. I'm going to bring it back to you. Come on. There you go. It's back. I got it back. Now you see the twinkling of the stars again. Okay. I got, the, I know, I know what, what the problem was. I won't bore you with the details, but I know, I know what the problem was. I know what it was. Um, the camera is so sensitive. It can do certain things. Isn't it fun? So there you go. Now you should be able to see um, the Osprey nest again, right? <laughs> Uh, they said this is so fascinating christian see the nest in the stars isn't it it's beautiful so this is actually the nest is in the direction of sagittarius where the center of our milky way is that's how exciting it is right 
So let's zoom out now. I'm going to zoom out again from the nest. And let's get back here. And you'll see how bright the day is. We're turning, you see the beautiful night sky? And that's how sensitive everything was. I've turned the sensitivity up from the camera to such an extent. And there's Jupiter. There's Jupiter again and Saturn. See Jupiter on the left and Saturn on the right, right? And it's having a bit of a greenish shimmer now because that's actually the green glow also from the atmosphere that you say seeing here, right? Because I've turned the sensitivity up so much that it's seeing everything at nighttime in real time, right? It's quite, quite, quite striking actually. So let's go back to the moon and let's see if our friend is coming up slowly. Yeah, it's getting brighter. So let me adjust the brightness again so that we get a beautiful moonrise very soon. So obviously I've got the I've got the exposure set too high. Isn't it beautiful, Karen? It is. So I'm going to see now that we improve this a little bit. Yeah, that was too much darkness. Okay, let me just turn this back again. Uh, I'm going to try and get this back into something very bright. Okay. Okay. What have I done wrong now? Wait a second. Okay. Let's just turn this up again. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now we have the bright sky back. Uh, I just restored it. And now I just have to get the focus back. I think the focus is quite okay. It's quite okay. But I think you get it. It looks quite beautiful, doesn't it? And very soon we should have moonrise here. So if we turn down, you, yeah, now it's adjusting to the brightness actually of, of you know, of, um, of the little village that we have down there. <laughs> Watching from Scotland, isn't it nice? Hi, Susie, that's great. You have Aurora, well, you know, we are far enough north here. We're 50 degrees north. Um, if there was an Aurora, I would be able to show it live to you. Kati says, good evening, Christian. You always pique my interest with your excitement and discovery about the world and universe. Thank you for sharing your passion. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to do that because, uh, you know, there are always such unique opportunities where we can do these crazy things. And let's see. Let's, let me just see what the moonrise is doing. Eight eleven. Eight eleven. That's today, isn't it? Yeah, that should be the moonrise. Or am I in the wrong city? No, that's correct. So it's, yes, give it another 10, 15 minutes and you'll see the moonrise, okay? Give it another 10, 15 minutes and we'll have a moonrise. Let me just prepare some things here. So we don't need Jupiter's moons anymore. We've done that now. Okay. Okay, this is going to be very beautiful very soon. The moonrise will be incredible. Whose roof is the camera? That's my roof. Uh, gentleman ghost. Um, so the summer house, it's a small summer house. Let me just wait. Let me just focus the camera one second. Also, I'll, I'll explain it while I refocus the camera. The, the camera doesn't understand nighttime. So I just have to help it focus. Just give me a sec.
So, excuse me, I was just coughing. I can't speak at the moment. Um, I'll be fine in a second. <clears throat> excuse me. So, yes, the, the camera is on top of our roof of the summer house. It's quite high up. And um, it has this beautiful view. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just trying to recover from my <laughs> cough. <clears throat> yeah, the, I'm just going to get some water. Give me a, a second. I need to get some water for myself. <laughs> but we can see the moon already is rising, right? You can see it's getting light there. So very, very soon we're going to have a beautiful moonrise here. Yes, I will, a pint of lager. That's a good one. I will. I will. I, yeah, give me a second. I'm just going to run to the kitchen and get myself something. I'll be back. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. So what I did is I got a bottle of Soda Stream. I don't know if you know what Soda Stream is. I love that stuff. I drink a lot of water, and this really died. I just forgot to take it, and it does wonders. <laughs> it's been a long time since you've seen such a sky. Yes, just wait for the moon to rise. It's going to take another, let me just calculate quickly. Where are we? Moonrise is 8.11 and the local time is 8.25. So I think, 11, 11, um, I think another six, seven minutes. You can see the moon rising very fast now. Um, <clears throat> and let me see if the degrees is correct here. The moon should be here about, let me see, it's in, moonrise is 75 degrees. It should be about 75 degrees. Yeah, that's spot on. That's spot on. That's where the moon is rising. So we're all ready now, waiting for the moon. And when the moon rises, I have to do very fast exposure changes. You can see it's almost like a sunrise. It's incredible. It's going to light up the whole night to such an extent um, in, uh, and you can still see the stars in the background if you look carefully, but we really have to, yeah, we really have to, isn't it a magnificent sky? It is. It is. So I'm going to start changing the settings very soon now because it's going to go so quickly. Let's see. And then I'll show you a close-up of the moon as it comes out. It's going to be beautiful, I promise. <laughs> I promise. It's going to be beautiful as the moon comes out here, right there. Hmm. We're going to have an incredible scene here.
Oh, that's good. There's some light here that we can actually use as a focus. That comes in very handy. Good. <clears throat> I wonder what those lights are. <clears throat> Can't wait, huh, Kathy? Just hold your breath. It's going to be beautiful because we've got a completely clear sky. I'm just going to make some adjustments here. <clears throat> Hang on, it's getting a bit dark, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just make sure the um, the moon is still there. I mean, connected. Let me just reconnect. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's live. <clears throat> just have to make sure. <clears throat> the horizon line, the valley is beautiful, isn't it? Hey, Kat, thank you. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's going quite incredible. So... The moon should be popping out very soon now. And um, I think it's going to look magnificent. And then I'll have to do very rep. Hi, Mark. Mark is also there. That's very nice. Isn't it beautiful, Mark? And Mark's been helping me a lot here with the control also. The moon will light up the lake soon. Is it will, Cheryl? It will. It's going to look magnificent. It will. It certainly will. Look, it's getting brighter and brighter. It's almost like a sunrise, isn't it? Look, this looks so much like sunrise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mark, isn't it? So we're just waiting for sunrise here. I mean, moon, of course, I'm joking. I mean, moonrise, of course. Just to be sure that that we're talking about the same thing. I'm going to put Moonrise into the screen here so that people don't mix it up. This is Moonrise, not Sunrise, okay? There you go. <laughs> it's sharp, isn't it? It's very, yeah, it is, it is. It's very sharp, Mark. And you know, we can see, um, you can bring up the, the brightness of the camera so much that you can see a lot of the constellations here from the stars, it's just incredible. So we just have to wait now. Zoom out again. But um, the Earth is making it very exciting. It's letting us wait now. <laughs> and then it'll, it'll pop up. It will. It will pop up. Whoa, did you see that? What was that? What was that? Did you see that? That's crazy. I wonder what that was. <laughs> I think that was an insect, you know? I think that was an insect that flew in front of the camera and made a beautiful display. Yeah, Kat, that was an insect. I'm 99% I'm sure because the camera so fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> it's fireworks. But it is, it, it, I'm quite sure it was an insect just in front of the camera. So that's that's what happened here. <clears throat> a bug, definitely a bug, yes, definitely. <laughs> it looked like a shooting star. I know Joel, uh, Joel, but but it it's it's it wasn't a shooting star, but it was just so funny, eh? Yes, we can see tree tips. Of course we can. I can zoom in. I mean, I zoomed in on the osprey nest, right? I mean. You know, I'm going to the opposite side there. Look at that. That's the opposite side. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. And 
I mean, it's pitch dark there. And look at that. You can see, uh, you can make out three tips. Isn't that incredible? That's 42 times optical zoom. Okay, now the moon should be very close to, very close now. It's just sitting there and it's not quite ready yet, <laughs> but it'll be very ready very soon. It is a sunrise in an indirect way. You could say that. Moon in Taurus, that's my moon. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Taurus, yes. <clears throat> okay, I think it's going to come here. Oh, there was another insect. Did you see it? That was another shooting insect. Okay, I'm going to try and change the settings of the camera. I'm not quite sure what's going to be, you know, how we're going to enjoy the moonrise in the best possible way, but I'm going to try, okay? Let me see what I can do for configuration here. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely on its way. It's, it's definitely on its way. It's getting brighter and brighter. Yes, the moon is just, yeah, it's a bug. Yeah, those are bugs coming in. And of course, as the moon brightens up, we're going to see more and more of these, right? So let me see what adjustments I should make here. I'm just testing some things here. Where, where, how do we see the moon best? I don't think that that is the best way of doing it. I'm going to go and leave it like this now. Let's make it very sharp. That's good. Might see a bat. Yeah, that's very, that, that would be very likely. I mean, look, look how bright we're making the day. We've turned, we've turned everything into daytime now. I'm just going to put the gain down a bit, just reduce the noise a bit. There, that's much better, isn't it? That's much better. That's much better. Do raptors hunt? Oh, they do, gentlemen, ghosts. Do raptors hunt fish in lake? They do. The osprey nest that I've just shown you, they that's just, you know, that's about a minute flight away for them. And eagles are there. There's an eagle nest right next to the lake. I can't see it from here, unfortunately. But we can look at the osprey nest. So when the osprey nest, when the ospreys are going to return in one to two or three months, um, I will be showing you a lot of uh, from the osprey nest uh, because it's wonderful. That's actually why I bought the camera because my dream was always to be able to live look at an eagle's nest or an osprey nest. And here I get the opportunity, and that was the incentive actually not to do the nighttime stuff. So I bought this high optical zoom because of the Osprey nest. And then as a byproduct, you know, you get all these beautiful astronomy possibilities. Do you have sound on that camera? It's always very quiet there. Yeah, you know, Karen, that's a good question. I have purposely, I disable the sound because of respect for the neighborhood, right? Because, um, you, you know, it could pick up sounds, of course, but we are, you know, I don't, I want to have respect for people who are next door. So that's why I, I turned it off. Okay, so that's that's the reason. Just as much as I respect the neighbors, so we don't look, uh, you know, into their windows or anything. This is really for people to, you know, to enjoy, uh, you know, the, the the beautiful view that we have. Right? You love ospreys too, right, Karen? That that's it. That's it. So very soon, my goodness, that moon is is usually may, being very dramatic tonight, <laughs> but it's going to come up very soon and then we're going to have a lot of fun let me see where is the moon right now 8 35 i'm just going to see how many degrees we are 
we are now at oh it's only at three degrees altitude the moon okay so we're going to need another four or five minutes okay so it's going very it's only three degrees above the horizon and that's why we're just about to see it okay so the moon should be about i i would estimate we would need four or five degrees so we need another wait a second another 10 minutes okay gentleman go says this lake is incredibly long yes it is the, the no it's not the longest it's the length of the lake from north to south is about 100 miles long, okay, 160 kilometers is approximately some 130 as far as I remember. So it's about 90 to 100 miles long and it has, it's very rich in trout and, and, and fish, obviously. And that's why we have so many osprey nests there. Yeah, so we just wait a little bit longer and I think the moon's going to pop over the edge now. I'm going to zoom in now. Let's see. I think I think we're about to see it. We're about to see the most magnificent moonrise. So now we're going to play around with look there it comes. There it comes, okay? That's about 3 3 and a half degrees above the horizon. And now we want to see the moon, don't we? We want to see what it looks like. So it's time for me to change the exposure settings so that we can see this much better. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oops, that was too dark. I'm just um, adjusting the exposure. And there, and I'm going to adjust the focus now. And there comes the moon, here comes the moon. Isn't that an amazing picture? Look at it, look at it. Isn't that amazing? The moon is coming, I mean, this is just, insanely beautiful it is it is so beautiful what's happening here you're seeing the moon just rise in, above the trees now that's incredible isn't it that is so incredible yeah that is just magnificent isn't it i mean this is a moment that is that's the first time i'm ever showing something like this with this camera so that's your your moonrise, isn't it? Isn't it incredible? So there you go. It's rising, and of course you have a lot of. It looks huge, doesn't it? Because we zoomed in to such a crazy extent. You see, I mean, we're using an incredible zoom here. Look at that. It's so. That's the zoom, and you can see I I have darkened it so much because the moon is so bright. And let me just focus it again. There, and it's completely in focus now coming up now isn't that magnificent that is i'm just going to take a picture of this because it's just so beautiful and i will post it for you i'll post it also on facebook and so on because it's just so incredible um, let me see if i can do something nice for you here i'm going to show it to you even more beautiful look at that this is even more beautiful I have, I have made the colors a bit more intense so that you can really see the colors of the moon right now as they come out, saturated them a bit. And there you go. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Now the, the moon is sort of balancing on those trees. Isn't that amazing, hey? Eh? It's it's really sort of balancing. It's <laughs> I have to bring the moon down a little bit so you can see it nicely now. Isn't that outstanding? It is, eh? Look, it's like it's balancing, and now it's going to let go of the last tree. You see, it's letting go, and here we go in real time. It's better than NASA. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Did you see what happened? Now the trees are gone, right? Now it's hanging in the air. Wasn't that incredible? So you have the whole transition here. Are oh, you very welcome, Connie? That is my pleasure. That is my absolute pleasure. 
And the moon now is rising, of course, at an incredible speed, um, of course, to, due to the Earth's rotation, right? So we have this uh, quite, quite a picture here. <laughs> I wish we had multiple moons for this. Yes, we should be next. We'd be sitting on Jupiter. You'd have 72 moons or whatever Jupiter had. <laughs> Thank you, Kat, for the award. That's very kind of you. Thank you. That's, I appreciate it. You know, we're also lucky we finally have some good weather because sometimes that's a bit of a problem, you know, to get the weather just so it's, it's, it's right. And now, now everything is just right for you to enjoy. And, you know, I'm just going to do the following. I'm going to zoom out again and show you the city. How's that? Let me try and do this. Um, let's see if I can, I can, do that very quickly. I'm going to zoom out and change the lighting so that you'll be able to see the city again. How do I do that? How do I do that? Because we've got so many settings here. Let's see if we can change this. I'm just going to bring the moon back to the center. So, whoops, that was a bit too far down. Well, it'll rise now. It'll rise. Bring it a bit closer to me. And now I'm going to overexpose, okay? Because I want to zoom out now and show you what the city looks like with the moon. Okay, that looks a lot better. Now you can get an impression of what we're actually seeing there, really. There we go, there we go. Now it's a little bit too yellow. One second, one second. I'm gonna take the colors out. I, I have to take the colors out now. Let's do it like this, that's better, that's better. And now you can see how incredible, it looks like a sunrise almost, uh, because you can see how the, how the moon is completely I have to bring the exposure down a little bit, but the moon is completely overexposing now. I'm just bringing the noise down a little bit. That's much better. There we go. That's better. That's better. And that's your, here's your, here's your moon, sir. It looks like a star, doesn't it? Yes. And that's quite incredible, isn't it? So let's have a quick look around what it actually looks like. Uh, like now, if we go down a little bit, and that's the sphere, you can see the scene at night with the moon rise. It looks quite dramatic, doesn't it? And as someone pointed out, very soon we're going to see the reflection on the lake. I'm just going to, I'm not quite happy with the camera settings at the moment because they are not sharp enough for me. Thank you. Thank you, Gentleman Ghost, for the High Five Award. Thank you so much. That's very kind. I really appreciate it. I, I'm so glad you're sitting here with me and um, you're enjoying this too. Okay, I'm just trying to get things a little bit better adjusted. I think I have to put the gain up a little bit. Yeah, that's now it gets too bright. You see, it's just you have to find the right balance here. OK, let's turn back to the moon. And then let's zoom in on the moon again. Let's do it once more because it's so, it's so incredible, isn't it? I mean, it looks like we're going to look straight at the sun now. But I'm going to change. I'm going to zoom right in and then I'll change the exposure time. So you'll be a bit blinded now. It's going to be quite a blinding sight as we zoom into the, it looks like we're jumping into the sun now. Completely overexposed. <laughs> and we're going to dive right into there. Ah, there you go. Now you can see how bright that is. And now I'm going to start changing the exposure for you. Give me a second.
and then we will get get this where this should be there we go there we go that's much better isn't it that's much better that's a lot better that's a lot better i'm going to limit the camera now so it it's still showing the moon a little bit too bright okay that's quite you see how how yeah, it's way off the trees, isn't it? It's it, it really is way off the trees. Okay, I think I, I I think I know what I have to do. It's now the moon will disappear for a moment. I'm going to get it back again. Don't worry. It's just so bright. Uh, it's just too bright. I'm going to bring the moon back. Okay, hang on. One second. I have to find the right exposure. Yeah, here we are. We're getting there now. I just have to find the right exposure. And I have to focus it. Now we get it back into focus, okay? There we go. And now, let's give the moon a little bit of color. <laughs> hint of blue yes i'm going to give you a little bit of more color now there you go and there's your beautiful moon again okay now we brought it back again i'll be you know what i'm going to put the moon on top of my head now let me see if i can do this let me balance the moon on top of my head That hurts a little bit. I have to do this careful because it might just hurt. Oh, that's too far, Moon. Let me just do this very carefully. I'll balance it on my head now. And let's get it down a little bit. Right, I have to... Ah, no, that was too far. That was too far, Moon. You have to just balance it on my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I have to get back in the into the picture here there we go and let's get the moon just uh, down a little bit more wrong direction wrong direction that's quite a quite a stubborn moon isn't it i'll hold it in my hand yes i can do that sure let's do it wait let's just try this gently wait a minute uh, wait, I have to get myself in there properly. Wait a minute. Wait, where am I? <laughs> Here I am. Wait a minute. Oh, it's it, it's more difficult than you think. <laughs> I have to get the moon down a bit more. <laughs> the moon is, is moving so quickly. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, that's the, we, we almost got it. We almost got it. We almost got the trick. Wait, that's too far down. It's really difficult to do this because this moon is moving so quickly. <laughs> and I have to, you know what? I have to do some adjustments to do this. Yeah, gentlemen, goes, just give me a second. I have to put myself a little bit more into the center. Wait a second. Let's see if I can do this. I have to, I have to somehow maybe make myself a little bit larger Wait, let, let me just see if i can do this it's quite a balancing act okay that's better now let's try it again uh, now the moon must come a little bit lower try it let me try and get the moon a little bit lower yeah that's it that's it that's it Uh, and a bit lower. 
Ah, don't duck. Careful. <laughs> I can't believe this is so difficult. It's so difficult. You can't believe it because I don't know which direction to go. <laughs> okay, let me try. It's so difficult. You want because I have no idea which hand to hold here. <laughs> ah. Now, yeah, almost, almost. I think I got it on the one hand. I got it on this hand now. I got it actually on this hand. Yes, yes, yes. I definitely have. Let's try and bring the moon back a bit and down a bit. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. I can do it with one hand. There we go. That's it. I got it. I got it. Quickly take the picture. Oops, it's moving up. I I bounced it up actually. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough of that. You know, I have to practice this a bit. I'm sure I can get a lot better. Thanks for bringing up the idea. I'm quite, I'm quite sure I can do a lot better than this. <laughs> Thanks, Kit. Thanks, Kit, for the award. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Nice to see you. We're just balancing the moon here. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's so funny. The moon is absolutely stunning, isn't it? You got the picture. That's great. <laughs> Let's just zoom out again. So we got this beautiful moon. And then, uh, Amanda, earlier, I know you like astronomy. We, I was showing Jupiter's moons. It was so incredible. We could see Jupiter's moons live. I can't do it at the moment because Jupiter, I can, my camera can only go up to 20 degrees. And Jupiter is already past that. So I just couldn't do that. Thanks, Amanda. Very kind of you. That's it's wonderful to see you. So let's just zoom out and look at the beautiful city again. So I'm going to go and do that. Let me just get my settings right here. It's going to get very, the moon's going to glow up now because I'm going to zoom out so you can see the city again. At night. And that's all, if you're wondering, that's all from my, come on. Okay, here we go. Let me just move, move it up against. There you go. There you go. So it's got a little bit of a green touch at the moment because, well, that's also the glow from the atmosphere, actually. And um, yeah, let me just get that green tone away again. One second. That's better. That's much better. Now we got it much better. That's much better. Okay. Now it looks very real again. Screenshot. So now you can sit, see me sitting there in front of, um, so that's, for, uh, those of you who don't know, this is, this camera is live on the summer house in Kelowna. I'm just going to give you the link. Okay. So I have this running all the time so people can enjoy it. And I'm just going to I'm just going to give you the live stream anyway. If you ever feel like, you know, you have a bad day or so, then just come in here and have a look and enjoy the music and so on. So I'm just going to give you the link here in the comments. <laughs> there you go. So if you have a bad day, Go there. I'm going. I'm going to have this on 24/7 whenever possible. Um, this camera is running. Okay, so that's the link. That's the direct link. It's got music and everything there. And then, of course, at the moment, I'm running a live stream in parallel where I'm talking, and that's of course not on the not on the camera. That's that's a separate stream I'm running. Gentleman Go says, "Can't wait for the next full red moon." Oh, you're going to have a lot of fun. Of course, we're getting, as you correct, we, we've got a waning moon at the moment, right? Um, so as soon as the moon waxes again, we're going to have so much fun. And let's see if we've got a clear sky tomorrow. I'll try and show you Jupiter's moon. And maybe, 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 gentlemen, goes, maybe, just maybe, we can see Saturn rings. I don't know, right? I've never tried it, but it could. The music selection is perfect. Thank you so much. So bookmark that, please. Bookmark that. It's there for you to enjoy. 
So just bookmark that. And um, uh, that's that stream runs 24 seven, right? I'm going to have it run all the time. We're going to look at the Osprey nest later and many other things I've got. As you know, there's an Osprey nest close by and we're going to, get, we're going to see all these things. I showed you the Osprey nest at night. Now look at the beautiful reflection of the moonlight. Can you see it already there? It's, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. So this has all just happened, right? It's quite incredible. So let's see if we can get a little bit more out of this. That's much better. That's much better. I'm going to get this much better now. I'm going to get you a lot more better, uh, better light now. Watch this. I know this camera inside out's got about a thousand settings, um, but I know so well how to get the best out of this camera with low noise. So that's what we have at the moment. And it's going really well now. Look at look at that beautiful reflection that we have at the moment. Isn't that a wonderful picture, right? So it's as the moon rises. And maybe we can get it lit up a bit more. Let me try something else quickly. Yeah. That's like, okay, the moon's looking a bit strange now. But at least you get the beautiful reflections now. Um, wow, that's quite incredible, actually. That's quite incredible. Um, you know, um, Gentleman Ghost is asking, how vulnerable effective is the camera in rain, rain or wind? Um, it's fine. It's very res resilient. It's a security camera, originally meant a security camera. Of course, I'm misusing it completely. I'm not interested in security. I'm interested in giving you the best wildlife, which is the osprey nest and so on. So it's, these cameras are incredibly robust, right? Incredibly robust. Wind is a problem because of the vibration, right? But that's the only thing. So if there's a strong wind, we don't have much strong winds, but that gives a bit of a problem. Isn't that a beautiful scene, isn't it? <laughs> so it, it is quite, it's quite the scene. Okay, I will just switch off that dynamic range again now. And I will uh, set the exposure settings here, correct? Uh, wait a minute, we'll get this back here. Oh, that's too bright, it's too bright. You can see how sensitive this, cam this camera is. And that's much better again, that's much better. <laughs> Moon has a ring, I know, it's, that's, that's a mistake, of course. <laughs> that's, um, <clears throat> but it doesn't have a ring anymore now. But you can see, you can actually see the spikes on the on the moon. Those are called diffraction spikes. That's from the camera iris. That's from the aperture. It's causing some some. Uh, that's typically what you see in movies, right? Let's zoom in again on the moon and have another quick look at it. Okay, now we have the moon nicely centered. Now we really have to turn down the um, the brightness. Okay. Let's zoom in. And let's get it sharp. And there's your moon. There we are back. Okay, and now I will... Um, Let's just get the brightness back uh, down a bit more. Oh, that was maybe too much. Yeah, that's good. And now I will give you a bit of color too. Let's put a bit more color in here. Just a bit more saturation because it just looks very nice. Tiny bit more brightness. See how we can brighten up the moon, isn't that incredible? Okay, a bit more color. That gets maybe too green. We have to be a bit careful there. I'm just adjusting the colors for you. Okay, here we go. That's quite nice. That is quite nice.
to get out the way. There we go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And now you even got a bit of color in the moon. There we go. Very nice, isn't it? Very detailed. Yes. Yes, those vibrations are sometimes if, um, you know, if one walks inside the house, uh, it's so sensitive because we've got such large magnification now. I'm going to show you even more magnification. Just watch out for this one now. This is going to, you're going to turn, you're going to think this is crazy. But now you see the atmospheric distortions. And um, I'm going to just move the moon gently up and down now. So now we're really zooming in detailed on the moon, okay? <coughs> Dreamy, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Amanda, isn't that amazing? Okay, those are the highlands. You see that part there? That's the highlands. That Those mountain. that's a mountain range on the moon here that you see. You see that? There's a mountain range that's sort of curved. And that's that's the highlands. They are higher than Mount Everest. Okay, isn't that beautiful? That's amazing, isn't it? So we're we've really zoomed in on the moon now, <laughs> and sometimes it vibrates a bit. That's when when there's a bit of wind or so. Wowzers, you like it? No way, really. How <laughs> isn't that incredible, huh? Yes. So, so that's yeah. There's a lot we could talk about the craters a lot, you know. Um, not not tonight, but I'll I will show you where Apollo Eleven landed. Okay. I mean, I hope there's nobody here who's going to tell me that the whole moon thing was a conspiracy. Okay, because I'm I don't have a lot of tolerance for that. Uh, I was 10 years old when the moon landing happened in 1969, okay? And um, it was the most marvelous thing that ever happened. It was absolutely wonderful, really, absolutely wonderful. And um, so I will show you where the landing site is. I don't have it in my head, but next time I will prepare it and I'll show you where Apollo 11, 12, 13, and so on, where they all, <coughs> excuse me, where they all landed. You weren't expecting a space up uh, from British Columbia, isn't that quite something? Yeah, <laughs> that is quite something, isn't it? Let's bring the moon a little bit more down there, the highlands again. You see that mountain range? That's sort of curved a little bit. You see that? That's that's the high. That's the highlands. I'll bring that in a little bit more so you can see it a bit better. Fascinating, isn't it, Amanda, to see how fast the moon moves? Yes, that's correct. 70,000 miles per hour, that's correct. And of course, we have the Earth's rotation now. I didn't know those mountain ranges. Yeah, I learned tonight. Well, that's good. I'm glad I can teach a little bit of useful things here. That's good. <laughs> Showing this. Yeah, showing the site would be fascinating. I can do that. I will. I will do that, and it's 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 not very difficult for me to do that. I will. I will do that. Absolutely. Gosh, it's so beautiful tonight. We really got about everything. <laughs> okay, I will zoom out again. Let's. It's time to zoom out a little bit. Let me get back to our show here. Okay, there we're zooming out again. And then I'm going to zoom out even more. And then let's land back on Earth again. Let's just, yeah, let's land right back on Earth. One second. <laughs> you saw a witch. That's good. <laughs> That's incredible. You saw a witch. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to land back on Earth. How do we do it? We will, let me see, where are my controls? Ah, 
One second, I've got so many windows open here. Where are my controls? Here are my controls. Let's get back. First of all, let's get the moon back and into the center here. Okay, that's nice. And now I will start zooming out again. First, I'm going to overexpose again. We'll do what you already know. Okay, here we go. Okay, and we get out again. I see, oh, here's the beautiful reflection. And then I will make the make a little bit more light here. Now that's too much light. You see how incredibly sensitive these cameras are. Now that's beautiful. Look at that setup. Uh, let's get the exposure time a little bit down like that. My goodness, what a scene we have here, right? Isn't that incredible? There, yeah, that's maybe, that's too yellow. Let me just get the brightness here up a bit. That's quite, that's quite a scene, isn't it? That is quite a scene. There you have it. That's quite, that's quite a scene. That's what I want to leave it, leave, um, the stream tonight with you, with that type of beautiful uh, reflection on the water, which is quite amazing. Wondering how about Mars would look at, yeah, you know, Mars is too small, really. You need a big planet like Jupiter. The problem I would have with Mars is, is I think I would need more magnification for that, okay? Aren't the, the clouds are so neat, aren't they, Amanda? They really are. <laughs> Absolutely. They, they, they really are. They, uh, let's try the backlit here again. Uh, let's try. Okay, one second. Let's see if we can do get this a bit better. There were so many settings here that I have to change. So that you get to see something good here. Oh my goodness, it's so sensitive. Yes, did you see the blue sky? Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Do you see the blue sky? Anyway, I'll I'll leave I'll leave you with that final is a reflection of the I'll, I'll let you have a quick look around. And um, yeah, there we go. We've got a beautiful light now, really beautiful light. Isn't that fun, Cat? Isn't it? Uh, you're so welcome. It's an absolute pleasure. I'm just going to pan the camera a bit around so you get a quick look. at what it looks like. So we are looking south now. You can see the coordinates down there. You see SE, southeast, it tells you what direction we are. And there is, that's it, that's Jupiter. Jupiter on the left and Saturn on the right, okay? And for those of you who haven't seen the Osprey nest at night, I will quickly, 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 show you the osprey nest at night again, just because it's so special, okay? So because you wanna say, well, how, what does the osprey nest look in deep, in, in absolute darkness? Well, we shall find out. I'm just going to zoom in on the osprey nest again. I just have to find it because we are in so much darkness. But this is crazy. You have to imagine it's so dark now. We've got a bit of moonlight, of course, but I'm going to zoom in on the osprey nest let me just put up the sensitivity of the camera a bit. You can see a lot of stars now, but I really need to put up this sensitivity. One second.
Okay, that's better, that's better. Now we have the sensitivity really at its maximum. You see all the stars we're seeing, isn't that amazing? And now we're going to go down and look at the osprey nest. And can you see it there? Isn't that amazing? Watch now. That is about one, one and a half miles away from, from my house. That's why I actually bought the camera because I was so in love with this osprey nest. And I had it installed or installed it because there you go. There's your osprey nest. And when the ospreys come back, it's going to be really exciting. Okay, you see it. Yeah, that's in pitch darkness. It's incredible, isn't it? It's quite incredible. That's quite far away from the moon angle, actually. And let me get it a bit sharper now. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it's on, on quite a, a bit of a shaky tree, right? A dodgy tree. Okay, let's zoom out again. And you see how, how much I turned the night into day now for us to see the osprey nest so close. I really had to bring up the sensitivity of the camera. Now that's far too bright, isn't it? It's so bright. So let's turn this down again. I think that looks a bit better. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I will rent home on east side of Lake for West. Yeah, that's a good one. Do that. Do that. And then we look at each other all the time. How's that, gentlemen goes? You can do that. <laughs> you rent it on the other side. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking of doing that one day. Hey, gentlemen goes, I'm serious. Get. I will go over to the other side and then I will look at myself from our house on the other side and I'll wave with my camera and I will actually from the other side take my huge lens and show you where the camera is from the other side. How's that? Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> That's a nice joke, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. That's So it can be done. It can be done, right? Absolutely, we can we can do such things. It's quite incredible. So here again, just that you know, there's Jupiter on the left and Saturn on the right. And on that note, my friends, I'm going to um, yeah leave it at that. Wish you a wonderful night, and I hope you enjoyed it. And for those of you who haven't seen Jupiter, just spool back. Good night, Kit. Good night. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you. Good night, everyone, and thanks for taking the time actually to enjoy our wonderful universe with me from Earth. So I'm signing off from Earth. Good night to you all. Thank you. <laughs>